Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Sarah. Thanks very much for joining me for class three of my online photo classes. Uh, quick thank you to those that sent in their shape images from a last week's assignment. Uh, it was really great to see how you guys got out there to explore using your different angles of view to show off those shapes that you were seeing. So thanks very much for uh, submitting your photos. Now for this week, lesson three, we are going to be talking about texture. Now texture is how we describe what the surface uh, looks like or feels like of what it is that you're taking a photo of. So it can be hard or soft, uh, it can be smooth, it can be rough, it can be shiny, uh, it can also be coarse or fine for example. And by having texture in our photos, what we're doing is we're exploring the senses. So it's a way of us showing the viewer um, how texture can appeal to their senses. So it can be things like touch or sight, smell or taste. It's a way for us to express uh, and engage the viewer's senses so that they can get an idea of what it is that they're looking at in the photo. Uh, one of the things that texture also allows us to do in photography is it allows us to show the depth or the dimensions of what it is we're taking a photo of. Now what exactly does that mean? Well, let's take a look at a few examples to get a better idea of what texture might look like. So let's take a look at a few examples of the different types of texture that are out there so that you can get an idea of what you're going to be looking for uh, when you do your assignment. So here we have um, two textures. The top part is the fluffy clouds. So they look nice and soft when you look at them, uh, the way the light shines through, it looks like a bunch of soft pillows. And on the bottom, we have a whole bunch of trees in the forest and they look kind of ragged and rugged and rough. So we've got two textures in this photo. Here we have a pile of wood. Um, the wood, the edges on it are sharp, um, they're rough, so we've got this very different compared to the fluffy clouds in that it's a harder surface, it's a rough surface. So if we were to pick up a piece of wood, um, it would be quite rough in our hands, it would feel rough. Here we have an example of some dandelion seeds. Uh, they've, gone, they've gone to seed, so they're nice and fluffy, so they're nice and soft. Um, so showing that, we get an idea of what would happen if we were to grab them. They would be soft and fluffy in our hands. By contrast, or an opposite to fluffy, is going to be sort of a sharp, um, prickly type feeling. Um, these pine cones here that are lying on the ground have that kind of prickly, rough uh, texture to them. So you can have opposites um, when it comes to texture. Here we have a uh, rose flower and its petals are really soft. Um, they give that smooth or they have that smooth look to them. So they're quite soft. Here we have another example of a rough type surface. We have the tree bark on the trees. It's rugged, it's got rough outlines. Um, so to, if we were to sort of run our hands over the tree, um, it would feel rough against. It has that, that rough texture to it. You can also have a smooth, uh, sort of shiny type texture. Uh, here these mushrooms are wet, so they have that smooth-ish surface on them. And here we have a weed that has washed up onto the beaches on the sand. We've got sort of a finer um, texture to it. There's a little bit of, you can see where the water's kind of dried up. It has a bit of a finer texture to it. Here's an example of a close up of a pineapple. Um, the edges of a pineapple before you cut it are quite prickly. And we can see that with all sort of the little um, triangles that are coming off on the side of the pineapple. It has kind of a prickly rough texture to it. Here we have an example of two different types of textures. We've got a pizza, uh, which is I'm sure many people's favorite dish. 
Uh, we've got a smooth texture on the sauce and the cheese that's part of the pizza. But then when you look at the leaves of basil on top, they have a little bit rougher texture. So you can combine multiple types of textures into one photo um, to create more interest in your viewers. Now baking tends to have a bit of what I call a crusty type texture. Um, here these are crispies that I get at a bakery at my cabin um, and they've got kind of that sugary crunchy crispy topping on it. So food is another uh, subject that is really great for showing textures. Here I've got some loaves of bread. Um, they've got sort of that hard texture. Um, we can see kind of the grain uh, at which it's been baked. You can see the slits that have let the air out. Um, so you, by looking at this, we sense that it's kind of got a bit of a hard exterior to it, or a rough exterior, a rough texture. You can also have objects or food items that have smooth textures. So here we have a box of tomatoes and you can see the skin of the tomatoes is smooth, it's shiny in that it's reflecting the, um, the light from the window, but we can also have smooth textures in our food. Here's an example of kind of a rougher texture. Uh, we've got some waffles and there's lots of kind of edges on the waffles. We've got where they've been torn apart, we've got the little holes um, that are part of the waffle press. So here we've got more of a bit of a rough texture. And the last image I wanted to share with you guys is kind of a mixture of all kinds of things and all kinds of different textures. So we have the grapes that have that smooth, shiny surface. Uh, the cheese also has a smooth surface. Um, the bread has kind of that crusty, rugged surface on it, that rough texture. Um, the carrots have a bit of a sharp edge to it, so we've got some rough texture there. Uh, and then we've got some kind of meats in the background that are giving that smooth texture as well. So you can combine lots of different things to make a really interesting photo, um, showing off the texture. Um, and one thing to note with food, um, when you've got really great textures in food, it usually makes you want to kind of jump into the photo and eat the food. So that's a sign of a really great food photo in showing off those textures is that you want to go and just eat the photo, even though you can't really do that. So those are a few examples of the different textures that are out there. Now, one of the things that you'll want to pay attention to when you're taking photos of things that have texture in them is your point of view. Now, this is something that we practiced last week in lesson two, so you should be all pros at it by now. Uh, so don't be afraid to try out different points of view. Um, you may have to explore a little bit more to get the best point of view so that you can show off the texture that you're wanting to show off in your photo. And you may also have to take a little bit more time to search out items uh, that do have texture. So don't get discouraged if it takes you a little bit of time. Keep looking, watch for things that catch your attention, um, and if you're just stuck and you can't seem to find anything that has texture in it, then take a break. It's okay to take a break and uh, come back and try things at a later time. All right, so your assignment for this week is to explore things that speaks to your senses. Things that you might smell or taste, uh, like a pineapple or a loaf of bread, for example. Look for things that you might see or you might hear. Um, think of crunchy leaves on the ground or maybe some fluffy snow. Uh, and spend a couple of days going out and exploring, taking your photos. And when you're finished, what I want you to do is to choose five of your favorite photos. Uh, and if you are participating, you can submit them to me via email and I will put them all together uh, and put them into a slideshow for everyone to see. Um, parents or uh, kids, here's the email address that you can uh, reach me at. Now, I've had a couple of questions about whether or not you can submit images that you've already taken. Now, ideally what I'd like you to do is to take new photos each week for each of the different assignments. But, 
If you have a photo that you ta have taken earlier that fits with the week's assignment and you're really proud of it and you want to show it off, then absolutely send it in and we will definitely add that to the slideshow. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun, get out there and continue to explore, uh, looking for things that have texture and ways that you can express that texture. Uh, I can't wait to see what you guys are seeing on your end. Uh, so have a great week, um, enjoy, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks very much for tuning in guys, bye. Oh, and I almost forgot, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, that way you'll get a notification when lesson four is up. Take care guys, bye.